it says InGen on the side of that tower thing. That's interesting. What is this? What is this? What is this? Welcome to the InGen Site J Interdimension Outpost 0756. Uh huh. Very interesting, Hammond. <laughs> this place, I wonder how old it is. Hmm. Looks like no one's been here in a long time. Da -da 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 -da. Typical genetics facility stuff. Not quite sure when this was made. Oh. I'm not gonna mess with this. This is all very interesting. I'm assuming these are centrifuges. Somewhat old. Some sort of I'm thinking electron microscope. And uh Yeah, eggs. That's interesting. Lots of eggs. Wonder what's inside them. They're probably dead, obviously. Unless some dinosaur came in here to lay eggs for some reason. <laughs> no, just like, stop posting these notes where others will read them. Uh, ha ha ha. <laughs> anyway, let's see what else is in there. Engine crate. Oh, bio decontamination room. That's fun. Don't need to shower, sorry. <laughs> Let me see. Door. Papers. More paper. Desks. What is this? Managers. Ah. Managers log. 12702. The past year of operations has gone well. It appears by this point we have documented all species living in the patrol area. 37, not bad. Experiments have gone almost by the book. We seem to have this interdimensional expedition thing down by now. The folks in Ambirius will be pleased. Huh? Tomorrow we will be getting a staffing swap as some of our team is on tab for the, or the next new site scout. This time in DIM 53711H. I don't know. I'll be sending Jeremy for sure. Hoping Alyssa returns this time. Uh -huh. Manager's log 3803. So 2003. Fuel supplies are running low. Site G from Dimension... 27322X hasn't been heard from in weeks, and the dimension link can't establish a lock. No extra stock is available. If we can't get resupplied the next three weeks, we're going to have to jump ship and hope this station is still here when we get back. Aww. Manager's Log 31503. Ambirius has granted us with emergency supplies to last another month. All schedules have been revised to accommodate the completing of ongoing experiments and research. If anything remains after a month and it turns out we have to leave, I have orders to release any remaining live specimens. Oh, interesting. Well, that was a mouthful. What's in this one? Norman Caldwell, 7-12-2001. I've finally been given the go-ahead to proceed with experiment H4389. We're going to attempt combining local genuses of Parasaur and Deinonychus into a single genome. This isn't especially new for the CE project, but as far as I know, no one has yet created a, car a carnivore with the, whatever you call it, pompadour thing on the head. We really have no idea what it will be like. Plenty of reason to get excited. 809-2001. I've needed to do a little tweaking to get the genomes to click, but I think it'll work now. Seems there were too many redundancies when combining the code for the heads. 
impatience would have me cut and paste whichever ones fit together successfully, but I think I've got an amalgam figured out. He'll he'll be bred next week. 10.02.2001. He hatched this morning. Interesting skin pattern, to be sure. I am more than impressed with the results. One of the caretakers got dizzy after he started making a strange sound yesterday, and... Oh, very interesting. And what about this room? Yay, toilet. Don't have to go, sorry. Da -da -da. Storage and sleeping quarters, I guess? What is in here? Ooh, ah. Oh, it's guns. Whoa. Yep, it's guns. Well, those look nice. I'll just uh, leave those there. And what does this have to say? Koshiro Hazami. 10.25.99. Wow. So, my first extra dimensional position. Crazy, all this stuff that was out there and we never even knew. It's pretty exciting. It's taken a while to swallow, but the biggest thing going on in all this is definitely that the whole Sorishian genetic genesis nexus thing. Seems our leaders are investigating dinosaur DNA as a possible piece of some kind of pan-dimensional DNA origin creation scheme. Whoa. <laughs> That sounds interesting. With all I've seen, I find this to be just one of the million questions I bet scientists on Earth would have if they knew. Where the hell did all of these dimensions come from? Why do they have Earth-like species on them at all? How does a common <laughs> structure like genetic code get out to all these places? Did deoxyribonucleic acid still physically arise by itself on Earth? Was it put there or what? If physically, how does it do so in all these different places in the same way? I'd sure like to know. Ha ha, I bet you would. There's definitely some new stuff here, though. I'll have to look into this. Blah blah blah, 418-2000. Apparently, we're calling this place Site J now. I'm sure the site names will eventually have more than one character. Still don't know how they assign them. This world is quite close to what human scientists might have thought ancient Earth looked like, with a few details filled in, of course. Still, there's something very different about it, and familiar. I mean, yeah, there are two suns, but that's not familiar. I'm... huh? Well, that's interesting. This place is quite cool, but I think I've had my fill. I'm headed out. Da -da -da -da. So, I mean, those copies were cool, but oh, wait a second. There's a new dinosaur on the beach. Hello? Let's see, what's this one called? Paradinonychus. Well, hello. How are you? Don't uh, kill me! <laughs> Damn it, what? Let me see. Uh. You know what? You are a beautiful, cool. How about you, like, come with me, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'll take that as a guess. Mission successful. That was pretty awesome. I have to tell Ares about this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, that was awesome. My own Paradynamicus. Obviously from the DNA chaos effect research thing they were doing. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this, I think. I, uh, 
I wonder if I can get him to talk. Wouldn't that be cool? A talking dinosaur partner, friend? We'll see how it goes. I'll have to speak with Harris. Maybe some others. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for joining me.